YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back, and it's that time of the year. Fantasy football season, drafts are coming up, I'm pumped for ours, and we actually have a Goat House one where you guys can join. We will talk about that in a little bit, but I got an interesting video for you guys today. We're talking about Patrick Mahomes and why you might be, you should be maybe a little cautious of drafting him. Maybe there's a curse, we'll get your thoughts in the comments, Uh, but basically beware of drafting this quarterback or being the first to draft a quarterback. At the end of this video, I'll give my final thoughts as well. So I really enjoyed making this one. This is a really cool one, uh, and it's pretty interesting stuff here. So I want to see what you guys think in the comments. But, uh, yeah, talking about joining that Fantasy League and more here, we now have memberships available. As you can see on the left, how to get special badges, emojis for chat on YouTube. You get sneak peeks, polls, bonus videos, behind-the-scenes videos, and plenty more. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, click that join button. You see the, what the button looks like right there. It's underneath the video. There's also a link somewhere in the description. Uh, and then separate is how to join our Fantasy Football League, Pick'em's League, Private Discord Chat, and plenty more. You click that first link in the description. It's a Patreon link. You will see it. So pretty cool. We got a lot of these options for you guys now if you want to show extra support, if you want to join us for this. Um, really appreciate you just considering it. So please just check those out. A little preview of the Discord. I think the Discord chat is really cool. We have a few people on that already, a few people in the Fantasy and the Pick'ems League already. Um, so here's a little preview of the Discord. We just talk football in here. Um, we have special emojis for every single NFL team. You see the Vikings logo down there, every team. Um, so it's really cool. We got Goat House members here, the guys that I have on the show with me, um, constantly talking. We were just, Last night we were discussing Hard Knocks. Uh, their first episode with the Raiders there. So pretty cool stuff. Please check all that out. It's brand new here at the Goat House. Uh, and then su- subscriber goal is 40K. You guys know the drill. Please subscribe if you haven't quite yet. Full coverage in season. Can't wait for the NFL season to start. Preseason week one is here. Uh, there's our Twitter. Click that like button too. Let's get on to the video. So we're going to start to see a trend here. Is there a curse? 2005 QB1 for fantasy was Carson Palmer of the Cincinnati Bengals. What did he do the next year? Could Did he repeat being the best fantasy quarterback? You know, maybe some of you drafted him. Maybe you, were the, you guys were the first to pull the trigger on taking a quarterback. It's got to be somebody. Maybe you, somebody did it and did Carson Palmer because what he did in 2005. So 2006, he was QB5. So n- not a big drop, but he couldn't repeat. Went down to QB5. Obviously, there's better quarterbacks out there. Um, so... That was 2006 where he was QB5. So in 2006, who was QB1? It was Peyton Manning. So Peyton Manning was the the QB champion of fantasy football in 2006. What did he do the next year in 2007? He couldn't repeat, but he was still a good quarterback. So, I mean, if you were if you were one of those people that took Peyton Manning, you were the first to take a quarterback, it wasn't the end of the world because you still had QB3. Um, but he just, he just couldn't repeat here. Uh, next, in 2006... Or 2007, actually, when he was QB3, it was Tom Brady. Brady had a great year, put up a lot of fantasy points in 2007. Uh, and then a lot of you, the next year, probably got super hyped and were the first, maybe the first person to draft a quarterback in your league, and it was Tom Brady. And maybe some of you two quarterback leagues not only took him in the first round, but took him maybe first overall. I've seen it before. And what happened? Well, you guys or those people really just got screwed over because he missed 15 games and was QB 59 in 2008. Rough for those who drafted Tom Brady for that next season. He could not repeat. So we're starting to see a little bit of a trend. Is it a curse building up? We will see. I want to see your guys' thoughts in the comments too. So when Brady dropped all the way down to quarterback 59, who was QB 1 that year? It was Drew Brees in 2008. But what did Drew Brees do in 2009? Just missed it. Just missed the repeat. Just missed. Just ended the. Almost ended the drought there. Um, and he was QB two, but he missed one game. So pretty impressive being QB two missing a game. I know it's only one game, but that's a lot in the fantasy world. You guys know that. Um, so couldn't repeat, but still was QB two. Probably would have been QB one if he didn't miss that game. So who just beat him out? Well, it was Aaron Rodgers, 2009. Could Aaron Rodgers repeat? We know he had so many good years as that top fantasy fantasy quarterback there. Uh, did he repeat in 2010? Did not. He was QB2. Missed one game. Just like Drew Brees the year before. 
pretty impressive being number two quarterback in fantasy, missing a game, probably could have got it if he didn't miss that game, but could not repeat who did it, who got the, the title that year. It was Michael Vick, Eagles Michael Vick, and a lot of you definitely got hyped with this one. You know, Michael Vick back in his prime. This is this is a definition of a fantasy quarterback. A lot of you guys made that decision. We're gonna I'm gonna pull the trigger nice and early. It's a bold it's a bold decision, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take that quarterback early because Vick is something special here. Uh, again, the two quarterback leagues probably took him. For, there's probably a lot of people that took him even first overall because two quarterbacks you have to start every week. I know most people are in a standard league, but there there are some of those people out there that definitely took Vic super early and it was the wrong decision he was QB 11 he missed three games so more missing games from the QB champion from the year before more missing games and dropped all the way down from two QB 11 from QB 1 so who was the fantasy champion that year in 2011 here's Aaron Rodgers again so Aaron Rodgers was close to repeating we saw him finish as QB 2 missed a year uh, and then was the the, the QB1 of, fan, of the fantasy world in 2011 again. So you're thinking, all right, Rodgers is going to get rolling now. You know, he's the guy. He just missed the repeat. He's going to repeat this time. It's, um, you know, it was, it made sense to think that at the time. But he was QB2 again. Again. He missed it by one again. Just cannot do it. And then who who did it that year, though? It was Drew Brees. So before it was Drew Brees, then it was Rodgers, then it was Vic, then it was Rodgers, then it was Drew Brees. So we're seeing seeing some sort of pattern here. Um, but could Drew Brees repeat from 2012 to 2013? He could not. He was, again, it's some sort of pattern here. Brees couldn't repeat, but he was QB2. Rodgers couldn't repeat, because because he but he was QB2. Same thing happened to Rodgers two years later. Same thing happened to Brees right after Rodgers. So weird. And we just cannot get a quarterback to repeat here. Uh, so 2013, who was the QB champion? I was getting ready for Aaron Rodgers, but it was Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, again, we've seen him a few years before this, I guess more than a few years. Uh, and then he really lit up 2013. So people definitely uh, you know, wanted to make sure they, they were the first to take a quarterback, take Peyton Manning. And... He was QB4 the next year, so not too far off, but he couldn't repeat. We're seeing the trend. Who was QB1 that year? Aaron Rodgers. Once again, Aaron Rodgers. Can he finally repeat? Can he do it in 2015? No, he drops down to QB7. So, you know, not far off, but dropping a little further here. It's just a, it's just a mission. It's, it's a huge challenge to repeat is what we're seeing here. Uh, but who was QB1 that year? It was Cam Newton, a ridiculous year. Um, I was in a two-quarterback league uh, the year after this, and I know Cam Newton for a fact went first overall in 2016 and obviously wasn't, thank God it wasn't me, you know. Um, and obviously it was the wrong decision, missed a game and finished QB17. Rough, very rough. Who was next, though? Who who was 2016? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers keeps popping up, but he can't repeat. Um, but is there some sort of curse? I guess it's a challenge, like I said, to for him to repeat. But he's been close, so you can't really say it's a curse. But now he misses nine games, and he's QB 29 and 2017. So it's just not looking good here for whoever the QB1 was of the previous year. They can't repeat, and a lot of these guys are just missing games and really dropping at this point as we're getting closer to, to, to today. And then we got Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson was the champ, QB9. So not really too close either. Uh, QB Went from QB champ in 2017 and 2018 to QB9. And then Patrick Mahomes last year in 2018, a ridiculous season so you see the trend here it is very very hard for a quarterback to repeat and it has really nothing to do with their mindset obviously or their play that it's not what I'm trying to say it just seems like it is impossible for us to get a fantasy quarterback to repeat um, so who could it be really is the question um, I mean Rodgers again we've seen Ra it's like about that time where it should be Rodgers again so it's definitely a legitimate uh you can definitely make a legitimate case that it's going to be Rodgers again. Um, but the question with him is, 
can he stay healthy? Breeze again, we've seen Breeze pop up a couple times. Um, and then, then other guys that are projected to be at the top, I'd say like the next three that I'm looking at are Deshaun Watson, Andrew Luck, and Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan was QB2 last year, right behind Patrick Mahomes. Um, so we got a new offensive line in there. I don't know if they'll be much better quite yet. will be in the future. So the main guys I'm looking at are Watson, Luck, Ryan, and then Baker Mayfield is kind of that s- somewhat wild card, but definitely could be a legit fantasy option. You know, he could... He could lead. He definitely could. And then the big time sleeper wild cards, Kyler Murray, but at the same time looking at his play style and looking at uh, that offense and how they will run their offense, he, he's going to put up a lot of points. And I don't know if he's really one, even though he could struggle at times, I don't know if he's really one that will turn the ball over a lot. I'm not saying Kyler Murray is QB1 for me, but it's definitely one uh, to keep an eye out for. So let me know your guys' thoughts. We're not quite done here yet, but let me know your guys' thoughts on who your QB1 is. If it's Mahomes, who's your QB2? Um, and then kind of my final thoughts here, even after all this, if you made me rank them, if you made me pick a QB one, I still have to go Mahomes, you know, leading all QBs by over 60 fantasy points last year. That's insane. You know, if he missed games, if he, you take away touchdowns, uh, multiple touchdowns, quite a few of them, actually, he still is QB one. You know, that's just crazy. You know, you don't, we don't see that a lot. You know, usually it's close. Uh, I do like Deshaun Watson a lot. I've had him the last few years in fantasy. Um, I really like him, but the O line scares me. It scares me enough to not call him QB1. You know, it doesn't scare me enough to not take him somewhat high in terms of quarterback, but I, I still have to put Mahomes QB1. But. My advice is not to be the first one to take a quarterback. I'm for my leagues. I'm I'm never the one to take the quarterback first. I'd say round round six is the it's just the absolute. I'm not gonna even take one round six. But that's the very 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 earliest. If you're just feeling Patrick Mahomes, he's gonna put up the points as long as he's healthy. I'd say the only way he's not QB one is if he gets hurt. But that's realistic looking at this curse, if you want to call it. But I would not be the first one to take a quarterback. Uh, you make sure you take your running backs. Your, I mean, pretty much everything. You know, it depends on your situation. But I won my fantasy league last year. I took a running back in the first round, and I went, I went receiver crazy, and I made sure, like receivers in a row, and I made sure I got my next running back and tight end uh, before I took my next quarterback. So uh, I want to keep the same strategy, but it really depends on who's uh, obviously who's off the board, and um, you know where you're picking, obviously, and. Um, you know, that, that uh, fantasy league I was talking about, uh, you guys have an option to join there by looking at the links in the description. And I have a video up explaining all that stuff too. We will make that live too. We'll actually live stream that so you guys can kind of get an idea of, uh, you know, our thoughts on where we would draft guys. So who was uh, the last guy to go back to back? That's what everyone's wondering at this point. It was it was the man, the myth, the legend, Dante Culpepper, 2003 and 2004 back to back fantasy quarterback one. So he, that's why we started in 2005 with Carson Palmer. So it has been that many years. The last time somebody's went back to back, it was Culpepper, and he did have a guy named Randy Moss uh, and Chris Carter at times there. Um, so and a very elite offensive line. So I guess that all goes into it. Patrick Mahomes does does have Tyreek Hill, some other weapons, a pretty good offensive line. And Cole Beaver liked to air it deep. Uh, there really hasn't been too many quarterbacks that really, you know, threw the ball deep that many times since Cole Pepper besides Patrick Mahomes. So you can actually there's a I think Mahomes has definitely has more talent, but um, you can actually. Um, you know, they have similarities, I guess. You can match up. So maybe for that reason, Mahomes can be the back-to-back. You know, pretty crazy that Colbert was the last guy. Happens to, be, happens to be my favorite quarterback of all time. He didn't last too long, but uh, those were the days for the Vic- for Vikings fans there. And even though he didn't last too long, um, definitely everybody got to love, got to respect Culpepper, you know. Um, so let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know if you think Mahomes will go back to back. Let me know if you actually think it's a curse, man. Maybe this is kind of making you think, will he get hurt? And it's it's crazy because it's just a silly fantasy football label. You know, it it's weird. It's it's we'll see. I just can't believe it's been that long. When I when I came across that, I was I was stunned. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Please check out those memberships for YouTube and Patreon. I I really appreciate it if you just considered it, just looked at it. A um, lot of cool things going on. We already got people in the Discord and the Fantasy League, all those stuff. Uh, 
So it's really cool. So really appreciate you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this video. Plenty more videos to come for the upcoming season for fantasy and then in-season full NFL coverage. Hopefully you can join us for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to do it for this one, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.